evening. The shooting happened during a party on Wilson Street. Now that is just south of Eleanor Tinsley Park, where tens of thousands of folks were at the Freedom Over Texas celebration last night. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard talked with family of the victims and is joining us live now with more on this story. Ryan. Laura, we're getting brand new information from the medical examiner. They told me that right now they're releasing one name, and that is the name of Jamal Dixon Lackey. We know that he died right back here. Uh, you can see folks in this neighborhood putting up this memorial where five people were shot last night. This is how it looked and sounded as fireworks turned to gunfire at Robin and Wilson Streets. Neighbors showed us this video shared on social media. In all, police say five people were shot, three died. Family members say that includes Charles Jackson, a 28-year-old father of three little girls and a son whose family owns the neighborhood grocery store. Charles was just a very respectful, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, helpful, love a young man. At first, some thought it was simply more fireworks. Realizing it was not, they ran to the store for safety and cover. It's real sad. And the saddest part is that all day the citizens of this community was calling the police about the people packing these guns. All day. All day. This started at 12 o'clock p.m. All the way to 9 at night, people calling about they walking around the street with guns. At about 10 o'clock last night, three people had died. A plea from the family of one of the victims to the shooters. When y'all think about killing people, you need to think about the families. Because Charles Dean and that little dude really don't deserve that. Back live now, you can see that memorial is going up on the fence. Uh, by the way, I checked with police. They tell us they got one call about 5 o'clock last night about shots fired here in this area. They tell me they sent out two police cars. They say they checked around and, and say they did not find any shots that had been fired. We're live today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.